Hey guys, what's going on y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? How are you guys doing today? Today we are diving into some of the seven African powers and we're gonna focus on Papa Legba, all right? So welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in to the spot and let's get it popping. Let's talk about it. If you need to grab a pen and a piece of paper, I would say do so now because I'm dropping some gems on this deity, okay? Papa Legba. Now, first, let's talk about the seven African powers. And this is the most memorable divinities of the Yoruban pantheon. They are common to all Yoruban faiths, but they are not always considered to be the same deity. Though I know it may be confusing to some, the Orishas appear alongside the Loas in New Orleans voodoo, as well as on hoodoo altars. First, we're going to talk about Papa Legba in detail. We're talking about Papa Legba. Some of the other names are Elegwa, Elegba, Laba, uh, Labas. That is Papa Legba. So going for I call it Papa. I say Papa Legba. So we're going to go ahead. If you hear me referring to him as that on throughout the video, you know that's who I'm talking about. Okay. Um, Papa Legba is the intermediary between the spirits and humanity, okay? He is the most important Lua because he stands at a spiritual crossroads and grants or denies permission to speak with the spirits. You have to go through Papa Legba to get to the other deities, all right? Legba is believed to speak to all human languages. He is always the first. <laughs> I just got a message y'all on my YouTube from somebody that watches my videos. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Um, Papa Legba is the first spirit you will invoke and the last spirit invoked in any ceremony because his permission is needed for any communication between the humans and the other loas. He opens and he closes the gate to the spirit world. Legba is petitioned to remove obstacles and also to open the doors to opportunities. Now I'm reading my notes. I want to give you a detail of Papa Legba. Okay. So let's start with this. Elegwa is mostly a show associated in Yoruban um, culture, is mostly associated with Papa Legba because both deities share the same role of the god of the crossroads. They're only similar and not the same. Okay. Legba also shares similarities to Oramila, the Orisha of prophecy, who taught mankind how to use the mighty oracle, oracle Ephi. Legba, Elegwa, and Yasu are similar, but they are not the same spirits. They are not the same. Papa Legba, who we're talking about, usually appears as an old man on a crutch or with a cane. He's wearing a broad brim straw hat, smoking a pipe, sprinkling water. Now, the dog and rooster are sacred to Legba. Because of his position as a gatekeeper between the worlds of the limit, living and the mysteries of the spiritual world he is often identified with saint peter who holds a comparison position in the catholic tradition he is also depicted in haiti as saint lazarus or saint anthony as well so um in yoruban mythology Alegua is in Orisha associated with the opening of ways or the crossroads as well. Often depicted as a child or a small man, 
He is a playful trickster God. Worships uh, people that honor this deity um, often place a cement head with a metal spike in the top and cowrie shells for eyes and mouth as a representation of a legua behind their front door. He is believed to protect the entryway and prevent harm from entering the home. Now, receiving a consecrated elegua head is part of the San Santeria initiation, known as the warriors. Elegua is the messenger. He is the messenger of Risha and the guardian of the doors. And without him, nothing can be accomplished. Nothing. Legba and Elegua are said to be like candy. They like toys and coconuts as offerings or anything that a child would enjoy. In return, they help people overcome various problems as well. Now his feast day is January 1st. His uh, numbers are three and 21. The colors are red and black. He identifies as well as holy infant of Atocha, St. Peter, St. Anthony, and St. Lazarus. Okay. Let's talk about some of the attributes for this particular deity. Now, a fort tree branch painted red and black. A whistle is good to put on if you're honoring this deity to place on your altar. Um, the cement head that represents him with cowrie shells for eyes and a mouth. A straw hat. You can place a set of 21 cowrie shells a small black stone, an elongated seashell, all of which are used in divination. This day of the week is Monday and the third of each month. Again, his numbers are three and 21. Some other offerings are toys, keys, straw hat, mouse traps, guns and rifles, coconuts, candies, toasted corn, whistles, fort branches, rum, cigars, and candles. The necklace that is um, associated with this deity is alternating red and black beads. Some foods that he would love is toasted corn, smoked fish and possum, palm oil, fruits, all types of candies and cakes, male chickens, roosters, coconut, corn meal balls with honey and palm oil as well, and some herbs to, that are associated with this deity are um, road opener or uh, herbs, Aubrey Camino, Pika Pika, Joba, as well. He is, as a human, we would say his archetype type is identified as someone one with mischievous tendencies. He's good humored. He's kind, a prankster, fond of playing jokes on you. He is said to be the master of lies and the uh, wealth of truth, the father of traps and snares. His children are very intelligent, but sometimes unscrupulous and given to intrigues. Okay, he is a warrior, a warrior, honey. Um, for good luck, this is some things that you can do. The person buys four, you can buy four coconuts, right? In 
his name. Picking up the four co coconuts, you're gonna buy the four coconuts. I honor you, Allegra, I honor you, Papa Legva. And um, you're gonna stand in front of the vessel holding his image. He makes the sign of a cross with each coconut. You're gonna make the sign of the cross with each coconut and pro um, proceed to rub them by one by one all over your body. You're gonna rub head to foot, asking that his luck change for the better. That you can, he can, your luck changes for the better, right? Then you're gonna take the four coconuts to a park and place them around in the around him in the form of a cross, which symbolizes the four cardinal points. North, south, east, and west. Then you're gonna to proceed to break each coconut with a hammer. You're gonna take a hammer with you, starting with one, face it to the east, then to the west, then to the north, then to the south. When all are broken, you're gonna jump over them and return home without looking back, secure in the knowledge that this that your luck will soon begin to improve. For money, you can take four balls of uh, raw cornmeal, honey, palm oil, and smoked fish and possum, okay? They are then placed in the four corners of the block where the person lives asking Elegua for money and prosperity. Now, Mondays are Elegua's day in Santeria, and the practitioners of the religion always remember to give the Orisha a small dish of candies on this day, together with fresh water, rum, and a cigar in a white candle on Mondays. Three drops of the water are left, let to fall on the floor in front of his image while the person prays to this particular Orisha. Some rum and cigar smoke are then sprayed over the image and the candle is lit. The can candies of the previous week are rubbed over the person's body to cleanse him from negative vibrations and to attract sweetness to your life. The dish is then refilled with new candies and the old ones are thrown into the street. Crossroads to be is better. So that is some um, things that I, it was very detailed on um, the deity Papalegba. I hope that helped y'all. Next, we're gonna go into some information on Shango. Shango is one of the other seven African um, powers. Um, Shango is a warrior. I'm going to come back with another video on Shango. I hope you guys enjoy. Please like, subscribe, and support my channel. Um, please feel free to, if you need anything from my Botanica, go to my site, visionsbiblesoria.com. And as always, many blessings of abundance to each and every one of you. Bye.